in lesson five, we're going to study paragraph layout. We're going to learn more about indenting, fine tuning our indents, right side indents, and we're going to see how to manipulate the spacing before and after our paragraphs. Let's talk about page layout and then the paragraph group. Here we have additional options for indent and paragraph spacing. Now, if you recall from previous lessons, back on the Home tab, there's also a paragraph group. And in here, you have decrease and increase indent, and also a line spacing button. Well, on page layout, this spacing over here is for paragraph spacing, spacing before the paragraph and after the paragraph. Let's talk about the indent fine tuning first. Now, let's say you have a paragraph here, and back on the Home tab, if you click the Increase and Decrease Indent button, you'll see that it moves the left margin in or back out again. Well, you can use the Page Layout to further fine-tune that indenting. And you can not only indent the left side of the paragraph, but also the right side of the paragraph as well. Here's the left side indent, and notice it's in smaller steps. And here's the right side indent. And this is very handy for things like direct quotes. For example, something like this. He said, colon, enter, and then let's pretend this is my quote, and it ends, oh, down here, enter. I want to turn this paragraph here into a direct quote. So I'll indent the left a little bit and indent the right a little bit. Maybe even highlight this and make the text a little smaller. And perhaps even italicize it. I zoomed in just a little bit so you can see it in more detail. Now, let's say you want a little bit of extra space around that direct quote. That's what the paragraph spacing is for over here. This is the spacing before the paragraph. See, a little bit of spacing in there. And these are in point sizes. Fonts are measured in point sizes, 5 point, 6 point, 8 point, and so on. Now, normally, we have a 5 point space after the paragraph. That's the default for Word 2007. If you want to change the current paragraph, you can just click on that button there. You can also just type in values as well. Let's say I want 10 points in front and after the paragraph. Now you can see a 10-point spacing in front of the paragraph and after the paragraph. And there's lots more that you can do with paragraph indenting and spacing, including hanging indents and first line indents. And we'll talk about all that in our expert level classes. If you click on the little dialog box launcher right here, you'll see the paragraph box comes up. And there's all kinds of extra options in here. We'll talk about these later. And finally, just to mention it, because we're almost finished with the page layout tab of the ribbon, there is an arrange group over here. We'll talk about these in the expert level classes as well, because this group has to deal with grouping and arranging objects on our document, objects like pictures and clip art and graphs, and we'll talk about all that in our expert level classes. Once again, the goal for the basics courses is just to show you the basic techniques for working with documents. A lot of these extra features we'll learn about later.